problem we had with this was that when you press this in, it would go too far and then pop right underneath there and stick in there and uh, you couldn't get it out. And you couldn't open the door, you couldn't do anything. It was terrible. And so I kind of had to pry it there as you can see. It was not easy to get it from behind there. So the problem is it was going in too far. So on these, there's a piece here that's elevated uh, where that goes through. Now here's how the various pieces look. And this is the one that I reversed and put in this way so that this would this would be uh, stop it from going as high. And then additionally, I put this washer on there as well. And then the spring goes in. So what was happening was this button was falling in there like that. If you can see that. And then it wouldn't come out and be stuck in there. Okay. Basically, this lever goes in there that pushes in. And that piece there rotates and comes out. And it actually pushes up on the other outside. So in order to make it not go in as far, the, the button to go in as far as I reversed it. And then what I also did is that I, I put a washer in there as well, a round washer, uh, which the spring pushes up against. So that means that the, the uh, push button cannot go in all the way. There's the, uh, the new door lock mechanisms with the uh, new keys. I did, in order to get my arm in there, I did cut this, this off so because it was sticking out like a square. So that made things easier. Okay. Now to put the upholstery back on the panel. Put that in the arm breast back on. And I just gotta do the screws down at the bottom and then that should be a good 